What's up, SES man? I'm back with a. But uh, let me give y'all some insight on what happened last night. Well, before I even start this, I'm gonna say it's gonna be a two-part video, man. And uh, stay tuned for the ride. SES man, y'all tune in for another. About 4:30. Yeah, Atlanta Airport, they got it lit with COVID. Y'all see it? I guess I forgot something. Huh? Nah. There's some tools that was in the car I don't need. So I came with literally a crimper and some pliers. That's all I need to fix the trailer. So I gotta buy some connections for it. Uh, I might have to buy a winch. And I might have to buy a battery for the winch. Or well, I might try to use a jump box, but I don't really know. We'll see. Um, yeah, J-Rock truck don't run, and I need a winch anyway for something that's about to happen. So, let me go ahead and check in, and I'll catch y'all on once we get here or close to there. What y'all know, man, CG, get that pre-TSA. So, we ain't gotta wait in no line. Oh, shit. Free TSA liner. <laughs> Longer than that. We just went through the regular way. There's pre TSA. Not open. So, let's check into the regular one. Yeah. Be there faster. It appears. Yeah, the door's still not even open. Yeah, so, that's what I'm gonna do. Just landed Manhattan. This Manhattan, Kansas. Let me say Manhattan, Kansas. Can't say Manhattan. So you're gonna say New York. This is like one of the smallest airports in the world. Uh J Rock is on the way, about to pick me up. Pretty sure we're going to um what's that chicken place? Oh man. The same chicken place. I forget. Well I'm gonna show y'all. I'm pretty sure we're going now. Uh then we're gonna go to Harbor Freight, go get a winch. And possibly a jump box from there too, because I can get a warranty. I'm pretty sure it's gonna blow up because they always do. But uh, yeah, he about to be sliding through. Yup, they go in the avalanche, bumping the tunes. Oh. Gotta put this on the, on the ground too. Oh boy, I got that big lens on that bit. Hey, come on, baby. That's it. That's it. This man always trying to go there. <laughs> it be good though, it be alright. Bro, I wasn't even thinking about it. You got off the plane to my head. Hey, hey that what happened last time. Gonna get that chicken. That's what happened last time. Facts. We about to go to Harbor Freight. Go be get this. What the damn? The winch. That is this winch and the jump, jump box, jump something, something. I really want a bad battery, but uh, because I need a jump box. And I know you can power it with a jump box, and I got some batteries over there that ain't got all the juice in the world, so we just use that. But uh, literally, we here. On one turn. It's how small this goddamn city is. All of Kansas. Two turns, and you there. I just started talking, look, we at Harbor Freight. We about to get in here, get this winch, and then take it to the shop. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. For those who don't know, this is my trailer. And this is my truck that my wife smashed up. 2004, Dually 3500, Vortec 8100. 
Um, I did this. Let me show y'all what my wife did. But I did that putting something in the truck and it fell. Let me show y'all what she did to me. Bang. I want to put a sign that say chicks and doilies or something right there till I fix it because it just looked like I don't know what I'm doing with a smashed up truck on the highway like this. But uh, I told y'all a while ago when I came here the first time that I had to rewire this. So I got all my light sockets out. Probably can't see it hanging, but uh, yeah. Got all my light sockets out. My wiring is in there, I'm about to go and get it. But the reason why I'm rewiring it is because a lot of the lights don't work, literally. All the lights you see, probably 10 worked. I mean, probably two worked. That's about it. So I gotta rewire the whole thing. And I'm gonna show y'all, this is where I noticed on this side. Cause I started at the front when I was diagnosing it before I left. I started at the front and then up here, this is where I noticed like, yep, that's my problem. So, that's why it's getting a, re a rewire. Really, uh, I think that's about it. The brakes still work. I tested the brakes, I heard, heard my humming and everything. Made the tire slide with, no, with nothing on it. Brake booster is in there. Uh, other than that, man, I, I kind of, I kind of, I, I really need to be working because I'm trying to stay out here while it's warm. But I'm trying to see if I want to keep this trailer or downsize to a one that's like don't have this part, but a second one at the top, like two over each other, and then the one in the back, or I don't really know. But this is kind of long, and uh, I don't know if it's gonna fit in my gate, so that's gonna be a, a possible issue. If it can't fit in my gate, I just gonna have to find somewhere to put it. Where is that? I do not know yet. Um, I'm gonna try my best to fit it in the gate, though. Try my best. All I got, try to put it in the gate. Well, I'm more than likely gonna have to take the cars off to try to put it in the gate. Uh. So yeah, other than that, man, got a toolbox with the straps. Well, not straps, it got chains. Got chains on here. Yeah, chain. Tighten it up. Strap, 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 lock. You won't, won't turn back unless the car bounce up real high or something. But uh, you tighten it tight enough, it'd be good. My chains, I got the even mount on each side and tighten the forward. Got the extensions. Yeah, like I said, I don't know if it's gonna be for sale yet. I already had somebody interested in it. I got the extensions, they connect right there. Yeah, they are. It also extends in the back. I have it extended right now so I can run this wire through. But yeah, it's pretty sturdy. Got some rust, not a crazy amount. Like stuff like this. Probably can't see. Yeah, some stuff like that. But uh, as far as getting your money, you probably could get this blasted and repainted. And you'll be in business if you're a pretty boy. But uh, I mean, it worked. It definitely worked. Yeah, enough of that. About to go ahead and start rewiring this baby. I'm trying to be in the light for y'all. About to go ahead and start rewiring. I bought this uh, fish tape at Home Depot. So, literally, I'm just gonna pull this out like such. Run it all the way to the top. Pull the, pull the new wires down all the way. I'm sticking through. And same thing, I'm gonna run the fish tape all the way down and pull the wires up. And, I mean, I think it should take about two hours or less. Once I do that, I got the blue box. I got the battery for the blue box charging on the charger. Uh, it's not coming. The white box not coming. So, I'm taking the gold one J-Rock truck in the Tahoe. So, I'm going to try to sell the gold box. I don't really think too much of it anymore. I kind of want to downsize now that I'm doing all the moving stuff. If I, if I didn't have any problems with moving, I probably would have kept it. 
So other than that, man, I'm about to go ahead and start working. Got it ran all the way up. It never stopped, so I didn't know where I was. I heard it come down. I had to wheel it back up. But uh yeah. Ready. Hook the hook this thing, hook this wire up on it. Pull it back out. Might go get the wire right now. Um I do have to run it through there and across. But other than that, should be alright. So this is the Harbor Freight Wrench. I don't know if, I didn't know if it was gonna work. So, uh, let me just show y'all. Whoever I bought this from, we the same thing. And this has to be like a Harbor Freight Wrench. So all the boats is lined up. Or unless it's a universal thing. I never had a winch, so I wouldn't know. Um, so it's got power and ground. And then this wire goes to the box for the winch. And then we got free spool and engage. And I got a button to pull back and forth. So we only need this for J Rock truck because it's on, not running. <laughs> Who the hell? What the hell is going on with this Ford? You locked yourself in. See? Ford. But uh, we almost there. Man, it got real. It got real today, bro. Real, like real, real fast. Um, so we got here about 12, it's 12.30 a.m. And we just leave. The truck loaded, everything ain't strapped down though. The truck is loaded. Um, I gotta clear out the shops here. A lot of stuff kept going wrong with the wiring and it still ain't tipped out, just the brakes, brake lights work and turn signals, so. Came from driving in the dark. Light's about to cut off, so y'all got this. Why you go for rally? Well, I'm tired. Literally every wire on the trailer is being replaced. Every single wire. Besides the wires that go to the lights. Like the pigtail for all the lights. Every wire has been changed. The 7 pin and every wire all the way around the trailer. So I gotta do some more diagnosing. Really, I don't know the concept of seven pin. Four pin is pretty easy, four or five pin, but seven pin, you got two more wires. Um, you got a power, and first light, but still, as far as the white ground wire, I ain't too sure, but I'm gonna figure it out. But y'all see this video before I drop it. You got both cars over there. for this 12k winch i'll be able to use this on my one car whoever did whoever put this on here we got the same mind man they use some harbor freight stuff so boat right up almost the box load these cars up almost there less than 24 hours again i ain't staying here long i hate this Big base. See they sitting up. Is it the one and only CG? <laughs> trying to get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> and this, oh, you can't even see you. The lighting away. Dang, I, I hear you banging though. I hear you.